Hoi, Estien. Hoi, ik ben Frank. What can a robot do without a proper algorithm? So let's find out from my algorithm team. We had to strategize and devise optimized algorithms to attain a good placing for the leaderboard. We translated our ideas into code, not without many bugs and revision in the process. But we ultimately made it work for the image recognition task. We used A star search to complete the shortest path task. Each time A star enters a node, it calculates the cost, Fn, and being the neighboring node, to travel to all of the neighboring nodes and then enter the node with the lowest value of Fn. On this 20 by 20 grid, I can place the safe zones on the grid in any direction and then click the start button to run the simulator. You can see the car drives between the safe zone and show the shortest and safest path we can take to complete the task. Raspberry Pi is the main communicator of the robot. For Android, we are using the Pi Blues library for Bluetooth connection through the RFCOM channel. For the image server, we are using the image ZMQ to communicate through Wi-Fi connections. For the STM32, we use the serial library to send UART commands. Lastly, for the algorithm, we use the serial library to act as a server and the client will connect to a given port. With the implementation of multiprocessing, we are able to use child processors to run multiple functions which prevents the communication to be clocked up. Thank you. For Android, we can use Bluetooth to scan and connect to the robot. Next, we can manually map the obstacles, specifying the direction it is facing. The algorithm then decides the order that the robot will visit the obstacles. As we can see, the robot on the simulator follows the path that the robot takes. Once the robot recognizes the obstacles, it can recognize what kind of images that it is detected. The target ID of the obstacle will then be updated in the Android application. After the recognition is completed, all the target ID will be displayed in the application. For STM, we are the main hardware component that are highly responsible for the basic robotics movements. One of the main features we have implemented is gyroscope and PID. Gyroscopes help us to ensure how much the robot deviates from its original orientation. The PID controller eliminates the deviation by adjusting the back view speed and thus achieving a straight line movement. Lastly, we have ultrasonic sensor implemented on the robot. This helps us to detect obstacle and stop upon detecting at an certain distance which is very helpful for our task too. For our image recognition process, we took 300 pictures per symbol for training the model. We added the images into RoboFlow and annotated them with their respective class IDs. To prevent overfitting of the model, we augmented the dataset by changing saturation, brightness and blur. We then proceed to train the model. We chose the model with the best performance for the validation set. We then run the model on a test set to determine the test accuracy. For task 1, we chose a model with higher accuracy and lower inference speed. Hence, we use YOLO V5M. For task 2, we chose YOLO V5N, which has a lower accuracy score, yet faster inference speed. Remember the introduction at the start where we were blaming each other? Ultimately, each subgroups worked hand-in-hand -hand closely to debug the robot's movement and image recognition when it is not working as intended. With everybody's commitment and superb teamwork together with full attendance throughout week 7, 8 and 9, we are able to emerge as first place for task 1 and third place for task 2. Thank you very much for viewing our video. See you next time.